Hello and welcome to the second part of this tutorial. So in the first part we looked how to do this. In the second part we're going to take this to the next level and combine it with the plugin GeoLayers which allows to do this type of animation starting from continental view and zoom to a zoom to the location with this super spectacular scaling animation. Couple of notes about this. GeoLayers, as you can see, is a sort of Google Earth within After Effects. It's so powerful, it's super easy to use, but it's not free. As you can see, it's 279 US dollars. But I'm presenting it and I'm recommending it because I do believe that it's a super great solution, super powerful. I use it all the time. You can try it, use the button right here, and uh, yeah, you can see if it uh, meet your expectations. And second quick note, this tool is so easy to use and so powerful, but it's very important to remain vigilant and fact check whatever you are producing with it, because borders can change, satellite imagery change over time. I don't know how often they update their database. So whatever you are designing with it, fact check, make sure it's accurate and you should be fine. Let's go. Okay, so to start you need to yeah, get GeoLayers from this website, so it's on uh, aescript.com and GeoLayers, if you just Google GeoLayers you, you will find it, then get the single user license for example, and, uh, and yeah, then you'll be able to download it from my downloads from the menu right here I think, uh, and my downloads and license, your license is going to be here, uh, and you can click download right here get the latest version, boom. And there's a quick tricky thing here. Uh, it's like you need a third software uh, to install it, it, which is called ZXP installer that you can get. Yeah, just Google it as well and you will find it. And uh, yeah, once, once you have download GeoLayers, you extract this, you get, you ins install as well ZXP installer and drop the ZXP file right here in the installer. It's gonna ask, you will say install, boom, and you boom, GeoLayers was successfully installed, so we are good to go. And once you have opened After Effects, normally uh, you should be able to find in this menu window right here, workspace, uh, no, sorry, extension, and right here there is GeoLayers 3, and this is it. You can open it and then um, before the last thing to do is to put your license. I think if you go here about and license, uh, yeah, here there should be a slot to put the, the license. Me, it's there already, so yeah. Okay, so first thing we're gonna click on this button, create a map comp, which is gonna create a, a, yeah, a composition, a, a GeoLayers composition. We're gonna name this uh, tutorial comp, whatever, just uh, this is for the example. Next. And then here it asks the type of uh, type of maps that we want, because GeoLayers is so powerful. You can do so many different styles. Uh, yeah, you can also customize it. And what we want to do us, it's this style with satellite imagery. So I'm going to click on it, boom, and I'm going to do create. And yeah, that's the environment of GeoLayers. I'm, uh, I'm not going to present all the buttons because it's, there's so many things you can do with it. Let's look at what we want to do. So we want to first start, yeah, from this view, kind of like this, with France, and then zoom to Paris. We're going to start with this. So it's pretty much like Google Maps. You can come here and search for France. And what, you can search whatever you want right here. You can even search like an address, uh, and it's going to usually most of the time it, it finds it. And if you press this button, it should center the map on the right location. And I think here it doesn't because it centers on France, and it, which includes the overseas territories of France, which is Réunion Island and uh, Guyane and uh, all of this. So uh, we need to cheat a little bit. So I think we're going to go manually on this one, otherwise it's not going to work. But usually, you, yeah, it, sh it should work. So I'm going to move right here the system and plus press plus and come to do the kind of type of framing that we want let's do it a bit wider why not yeah that's that's pretty good so that's our first view and what i'm going to do here since we want to start from here i'm going to do a keyframe so 
to do keyframe, you can press this button right here. And what is going you see what it's doing? It creates a bunch of keyframes here. Latitude, longitude, be very subtle with this. Usually you operate it from here, yeah? Zoom, same, you operate it more from this bar. And this can be sometimes useful. This is bearing, I think it's, yeah, you see it's the rotation. So sometimes, depending on what you want to do, it can be nice. And pitch, it's, it's, you see it's doing some sort of 3D perspective view. And this is, you can create some effect like this. Some uh, videographers are doing, uh, are using this effect. But for this example, we are not going to use this too, because we, we want to stay north, south, and uh, yeah. So... That's it for our first thing. Let's look at our example. Yeah, and as we can see, there is an outline on, on friends. There is also a text, and there is also uh, a highlight on the um, on the country, and it's a bit darker on the side. So to do so, let's start. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna come here. And I'm gonna do friends, and I'm gonna do here. If I press this button, the pen, the pen. Poof, as you can see, it's drawing like a, a shape layer, basically, with this style. This is here, you can control the style, but for this is fine because we're going to use as a mask. Uh, how do you close this? Yeah, that's fine. So here, boom, we have the shape of France with, uh, yeah, so, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to start by doing the dark highlights, the, yeah, the dark on the side and the brighter on France. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a black solid, solid, black let's call that matte and i'm going to use this as a cache basically as a mat and i'm going to do trick mat here click here click on track mat and do alpha inverted poof and as you can see it's kind of isolate friends and here we can come now to fade this out and here you go there is the nice effect that we want um so that's one thing. There is also a border right here. So I'm going to use the same technique, but just I'm going to search for France. And here I'm going to come and change the style and get just get one of these. You can create your own style, but you usually I use these guys as a base. Then I come to tweak it or like this. So this one looks what, what look like what I need. So I'm going to select it and draw it again. Poof. And as you can see, I have a second shape now, which is here. Let's do border with the border of friends and that's that's pretty good it's it's slightly thick i think compared to our example so i'm gonna come here in stroke and i'm gonna fall let's do 3.5 maybe let's see how it looks it's pretty good um and one thing important as we can see is that it looks a bit pixely, pixelish, like as you can see, like the quality is not as sharp as here. And it's because it's, it's something very important in, in geo layers. It, anytime you kind of want to get the full quality of, your, of the animation you are making, you need to click on finalize. And what it is doing, it's, it's going to download from the server the, the sharp assets, the, the assets it needs from the database to make the animation. And here it starts to be pretty fine. Um, that's pretty good. So let's start now, but before doing the friends tag, let's do the, f the first move. So here I have my keyframes. I'm going to come a bit further, maybe at four seconds or something, and I'm going to search for Paris. Paris, and I'm going to use this button right here, framing, toof. And as you can see, we have now change view. And if you see, it has created keyframes. And as you can see, here the transition start to be to take shape let's play it once as you can see we're gonna have to play uh, finalize again but before doing it I'm, I'm gonna do use my favorite plugin is and with to do some sort of smooth transition and I'm gonna apply that to these three keyframes expo in out apply boom and it puts become red and as we can see it's gonna do the nice boom pretty nice pretty nice um, I think, uh, since I know Paris, I think this is going to be slightly tight, so I'm going to try to, maybe slightly less, slightly, m yeah, I think like this is pretty fine. So we, we cannot really see now what's going on, so what I'm going to do is to hit finalize and see what's up. It's not bad, let's see how it looks. 
Yeah, perfect. That's very nice. So that's one move. Uh, we're not gonna do yet the tag. We'll just we'll do it after one. We're gonna do directly the second move to Place de l'Étoile. So I'm gonna go to eight seconds and search. So either you can go manually if you know the place, or you can go with the search engine Place de l'Étoile. Plus Charles de Gaulle, yeah, this is it. So I'm gonna hit framing, and uh, we can see we can see the arch right here. So this is a bit too small. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. Yeah, and we want to highlight even more because we want to highlight some. Yeah, this is not bad. That sounds pretty good. Again, I'm gonna do finalize because I want to see what's going on. It's very difficult otherwise to get an ID. And boom, and now it's ready. It's not that bad actually, the quality is, is, is pretty nice. But I want to show you the technique. Uh, we want to, in the example I've made, I've imported a, a visual from, uh, from Google Earth Pro and we're going to use the same as uh, the first tutorial. Let's see. Oh, and that's very bad. I haven't prepared my project right here. We are still on untitled project. I'm so sorry. This is the which is something we should do when we start. So I'm going to right away create my first structure, my structure assets 02 project 03 renders. I'm going to drop this. Yeah, my the two assets that we need. Um, let's drop it back in assets. And here, let's save our project just so it's done. And uh, tack. Let's save it to OSINT project. OSINT tutorial 2 version 1. And that's fine. So let's import our pictures. And I'm going to show you my technique. I'm going to show you the manual technique. There, there is uh, maybe an automatic technique to import satellite imagery in GeoLayers as it is in Google Earth Pro, but I, I don't know it. I'm going to show you the manual technique, so in, in any case you can do it. So let's import it over, and you can see there is a bit more definition, so that's good. And so what I'm doing, me, when I have to match satellite imagery like this, um, I'm searching for a common point between the satellite imagery of this and this one. For example, maybe one of these corner could be nice, I think. Yeah, like let's let's try to work with this corner. So I'm gonna move the anchor point with the Y key. And yeah, I'm moving this. And then what I'm doing, I, I press the T shortcut to turn the opacity first to zero. And if we click, this is, we are moving currently this element, as you can see. If I turn the opacity a little bit, and I'm going to bring it at the same location. Let's zoom with Command Plus. And I'm going to come bring it to the same place. Oh, actually, I've done something wrong. I'm not at the exact corner. Let's turn the opacity to zero. Let's bring it here. And then, once you have matched the common point, what you can do, you put it like to 50%. And if you press Scale, you can come to scale down your frame. And if you are sized north, uh, yeah, north south, you can yeah, search for the matching point. And often it's important to know that you, you're never going to be able to match 100% this satellite imagery. Why? Because these satellite imagery most of the time are, are not taken at, like the, as you can expect, like the satellite is not at the exact same position in the sky when it takes the picture is slightly on the, yeah on the on a side or another so yeah if we compare this one we can almost see the face here of the of the monument and on this one we are a bit more on the top right so it doesn't match 100% but i think it's it's okay what is important is to make sure that your representation is fair and that it's not misleading to the viewer uh, yeah, like don't, uh, yeah, this is what is important in my opinion is make sure you are not misleading your audience in whatever you are doing. So once we have matched the, the visual, what I'm going to do is come to GeoLayers and there's this icon right here and you can click on it and the pin icon and what it's going to do is going to add a bunch of effects right here. 
which are gonna attach the the, the thing to the map. And something very important is to in the style that in the, in this style that we want to do, if we, there is this effect scale with map, and in this example we do want to that the to scale with map. I'm gonna show you what uh, what uh, yeah what's the difference. If I if I turn it on, which is what we want, that's as you can see. Yeah, the asset follow the maps, and this is this is good. And if if you don't do it, what it is doing, it's yeah. It's, it, I mean, it's the, it's not rescaling the thing, and this can be nice for labels, for example. But for this, this is this doesn't work at all. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do this, and that's fine. And um, yeah, as you can see, there is a slight difference. Sometimes what I'm doing, I'm gonna do it here, is to add a quick uh, curve effect. So I'm gonna come to uh, effect, where are my effects? If you don't find this, go to window, effect and presets. Yeah, it comes right here. Let's search for curve. And let's, I think we can push, push it a bit. Yeah. And it's kind of matching much better, right? And uh, so when we zoom, there is less difference. And then, yeah, that's and then we are full on the on the frame, right? So that 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 should work. And when we finalize, it should we shouldn't notice much. What I do sometimes, I tell you my uh, quick secrets. Like sometimes I do a quick mask around, and I I take the mask tool, I double click right here. It create a mask. And I do a sort of feather on the side, put it a bit inside. What is it doing? It's it's doing you know a sort of small gradient. Maybe we could do it more right here. As you can see, it's doing some fading. Maybe you want it a bit inside. And sometimes it's the integration is is a bit smoother. Um, yeah, let, let's keep this, and we're gonna see how it do. To see how it's looking now, I'm gonna do a quick finalize. Uh, click to see how it looks. This is slightly thick. Let's put this a bit thinner. Ah oh, no, it's okay because we were zoomed out. Let's finalize to see. Okay, let's play it. So the first moment is pretty fine. We reach Paris and Yeah, that's that's pretty nice. We cannot we can we don't almost see the difference with the two image, so that's pretty good. Uh, what we can do though is, as you can see here, we can perceive the the satellite imagery. And since there is a fade, you see there is the transition in the geo layers. We can do the transition right here as well. So let's turn in do create a opacity key right here, put it to zero, and as you can see, there is a fade right here and. Now we can turn it to 100%. So in the same fade, we, we are bringing our satellite. Yeah, that's that's very good. We don't see anything. Uh, that's nice. I think the framing is, is slightly, slightly to the right. I think I'm going to push it. Let's develop this. Press U. Move right here with the shift so you get the, the snap. So here, as you can see, the map is not matching. So what you, what you do usually, you need to just select the panel and bam, it, it comes back to it. So let's push this a bit on the side. Because we know we're going to put the pin right here. So we need to equilibrate, like, yeah, to equilibrate um, the, the framing. Yeah, that looks nice to me. Let's put the labels. Ah, yeah, of course, when you change, sometimes you need to re-click to finalize again. Let's start by putting the friends text. So there's different way of, of doing it. I'm going to do it like the, I'm going to do the manual way for this. I'm going to do take the tool, the text tool, hit friends. Ah, it doesn't update. I don't understand why. Friends. Oh, yeah, that's it. Boom. Let's turn this to white. Let's adjust the, the scale and this is not bad it's slightly a bit big let's do it maybe 42 yeah that's okay this is just for the example this is uh, then you can use your own art direction anyway so again i'm going to use this tool the pin and it's going to be now attached 
as you can see, is nice because it does, this time we haven't uh, checked the scale with map effect, and it's doing this nice effect. It's like the the map is zooming, but the label just move, just stick to the same position without being rescaled. And this is yeah, it's, it's great and uh, kind of fine style. I like it. And now we are reaching Paris, so let's do the Paris tag as well. Take the tool. Paris, uh, I think we can, this time we can possibly make it bigger. Let's not do capital on this one. Yeah, I like it. Uh, oh, where are my, where is my, yeah, let's put the text together. I think I should be a bit more organized. Let's put it orange. Paris, let's put the anchor point in the middle. I'm pressing the command shortcut to put it in the middle. And again, I'm gonna click snap and perfect it's doing the same it's following but if you look back we are already have the tag right here so let's make sure this appears when we reach Paris like somewhere here I'm gonna do a fade this time you could do the same effect as uh, we did in other tutorials with the max mask and uh, but here I'm gonna do just a simple fade it's okay and zoom on place de l'étoile pretty good and we need the last label on place de l'étoile yeah it's okay um let's bring the pin again let's take it let's drop it here chuk, chuk, chuk. we know that it's somewhere here let's do the same as in the first tutorial i'm gonna put that in the pre-comp pin going inside i'm going to do the white inside i'm going quick because we have seen that in the first tutorial now, so you know already how to do this you can even copy paste this like import your after effect project and get that pin from the the thing move the anchor point to the bottom of the pin yeah this is oh this is good uh, if you want some sharpness, sharpness, you don't forget to hit the the sun right here. And I'm gonna place it at its location. Let's do a quick animation, scaling animation. I'm gonna create a keyframe with Alt S, then put zero here. Put a quick quart uh, ease and waste transition. Let's see. Yeah, pretty fine. Uh, I think in the example, let's look at it. Uh, yeah, there was the, the there was the triangle. Oh yeah, we still need to do this uh, the photo bouncing. Um, let's do quickly the triangle. Okay, so I think I'm pretty happy with uh, with the main animation. Quick note about the, the credits right here, uh, just so we remember. As you can see, GeoLayers automatically put some labels about the satellite imagery, but we need to add another one because we have had this extra image. So what I'm gonna do to make it simpler, I'm gonna, and this text label goes inside this comp, that's the automatic pre-comp that usually you don't check too much. So here I'm gonna go in there. This button is to hide, unhide some buttons. And yeah, this is the provider attribution. I'm gonna get this layer right here. I'm gonna cut it. And I'm gonna bring it into the main composition so I can control it a bit easier. Let's put this in Sion maybe. And basically when I'm reaching that image, I'm gonna change the text value if I press U to develop the keyframe, the different text modification. As you can see, there is a first text, then at this keyframe it changed to a second provider, and then so here we want a third provider. I'm gonna copy paste this keyframe, and here I'm gonna put the the provider. So yeah, on Google Earth I found here the provider, which is written right here. I've like type it here. So I'm gonna put this instead right here. Chuk -chuk paste it, it's very long here, I might, let's use this tool to isolate it, let's, I think we can do, put it like this, 
and oh yeah I've done something wrong here yeah this is make sure yeah we, we need to make sure you are on the same keyframe otherwise if you change it create multiple keyframes and what I'm gonna do since I want to hear now the the problem is like the yeah the the empty the empty space is is very off so let's do let's divide it so to divide the layer I'm gonna do command shift D poof and I'm dividing the layer and this at from this point we're gonna raise this thing I'm going to look to make the same space between right here and right here, right here and right here. I'm happy with this. Let's take a, a reference for the other one. And we're going to do the same for this one. Let's put it at the same. Let's put a marker here. A bit more. Yeah, good. So now we have attribution here and this one. and we are on track with the low. So start right here, change here, and cut to this one, and that's fine. Okay, and last thing we need to do, sorry, this tutorial is a bit long. We need to now show the visual, and we're gonna use the same technique as, so when the pin show the picture, yeah, so what I'm gonna do, it's very important, like with this map uh, plugin, it's, it's very sensitive. So you don't want to rename this comp now because it will, if I rename it, like it will mess up everything. You see the, the project breaks. So let's bring, let's put back the same name and you know, it's back because everything is co with coding, you know, so you cannot do too much. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do, I'm going to take this comp and put it in another master comp. That's why I haven't really made a master comp now. So I'm going to do master map animation. Something important as well. Usually for this type of sequence, me, I do one project, one after effect project per animation. So there is no mix up problem with the Julia's because you should be normally you can deal with different maps as you can see in geo layers, but I've sometimes I make mistakes. I've found that it's much clearer to just do one project, one map, and halas, you're good. So I've created a master comp and I'm gonna drop the containing in it and I have this. And this as you as you know, it's gonna be now very simple to do the split screen as well because I can just I'm gonna do a second comp, visual comp, to create just as we did in the first tutorial to do the composition for the visual. I'm going to put it on the left side because we know the picture is going to come from the left side. A bit like in the same in the first tutorial, I'm going to do a bar. Let's do it a bit thick. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Let's put it a bit inside. Perfect. And if I go back to my master comp, I'm going to put my master comp here. I can now bring the visual comp on top of it and pressing the shift key as you can see I'm, I can bring it let's bring this title action safe so we can be right in the middle for the split screen and let's now animate this so I'm gonna develop the P position alt P I'm creating a keyframe this is the final position I'm gonna put it there and push it back right there so let's see if the timing is right the pin pops out and then it comes in. Timing is not bad. I'm going to put a bit further and I'm going to put directly is and with expo. And of course we want to push this comp as well. So I'm going to say I'm going to hit alt P. So for the first part of the animation, the position is great. So we're going to hit the P position right here as well. So basically it stays at the original location and zoom, tac, 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 until there. And one, the picture come, we want it to bounce as well. So I'm going to push it to the left and center it kind of like this. I'm going to hit Hexpo and we should be good to go. Uh, come on, it's so slow. And yeah. I think we are finished, right? And that's it for this tutorial. I hope it wasn't too 
intricate. Uh, it's not so easy to explain this, this software because there's so many aspects, it changes in every project, it's going to be different. But I hope it gives you some basics to, to do your own and uh, yeah, see you in, uh, in the next tutorial.